The Sick and the Disabled. Most people think that these people, this group of people, are just a liability. They are a burden on society. They have nothing to offer. They just use resources and contribute nothing to the greater goal of society. They are just unable. They are too sick and too disabled to do anything. After spending 12 hours in ED, man, you know, I, I don't want to come home and train and put a heavy barbell on my back. But when I think about these people, the people who are fighting a bigger battle than you and me, perhaps, definitely me, people who are waking up every single day to, to real, real big obstacles. Every morning is a fight. We take things for granted every day. Simply getting out of bed and going to the toilet for some is a mission. When you spend 12 hours in ED looking after these people, I don't know, man. I, you know, I feel what I give them is nothing compared to what they give me. I might be processing all of this differently to the majority of people. Um, but when I see them fight, when I see them smile, thank people around them, man, that is true leadership. That is true leadership. That is true strength. You know, some people are in such circumstances that, I don't know, man. We, we sometimes sit there and we think to ourselves that life is not going well or whatever the case might be, that we're not happy with such things. But, man, perspective is everything, man. For some people, it's a it's a good day if they can walk across the damn house to the to the to the kitchen, make themselves a cup of tea, and walk it back to the dining table. Completely short of breath, gutted, gutted, like you and I did a set of fifty, set of fifty with fifty percent on the bar. Gutted. Do you understand? What quality of life do these people have to wake up every single day and to go to absolute freaking war for a cup of coffee, man? And so when you spend 12 hours, when you spend a career, when you spend every single day of your working life with people like this, man, I, I don't know what, like maybe I per process this differently, but I feel like running through a damn wall, man. Oh, I'm so I'm so upset. I have to go home and and train. It is literally embarrassing to me. I'm embarrassed in front of my own self, in front of my thoughts. I'm embarrassed to even have the thought of saying something is too difficult. What's too difficult, man? Open your eyes. If you're listening to this, you are probably a blessed individual. Probably. I heard somebody the other day talk about how depression, how anxiety is a disease of the rich. Can somebody be depressed and hungry, truly hungry in their life? I'm not talking about you haven't eaten for four or five hours. I'm talking about you haven't eaten for a week. Can that individual be depressed? Or is depression a syndrome, a disease of somebody that has everything in their life? They have satisfied every need. And now they're feeling depressed because there's nothing else to do. I'm lost. I don't have a direction in life because you have everything. You know, I heard somebody else say, if you don't know what to do, in, what you want in life, it's because you already have it. 
Perspective is everything, man. And working around people who have unfortunate cards dealt with them, to them, it's like, it's such a gift. It's, it's you know, you could think of it as an indirect gift these people have on people. There's like a radius around them of like 30 meters that everyone is, there's a frequency about them that is emitted into the atmosphere with these people and you just feel like getting shit done. The voice of, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for myself, just disappears, man. What are you sorry about, man? What is bad in your life? What is so freaking rotten in your life that you can't get up and do a set of 20 push-ups, man? What's going on? We, like, what's the problem, man? Tell me what the problem is. You see somebody struggling, like giving the absolute one rep max to get out of the bed and into the chair, into the wheelchair. No legs. And I've squatted more than a thousand days in a row. It's the human condition. We, uh, we blow stuff out of proportion. We think we are something, someone. Our problem, my problem. Is the real problem. I'm not trying to belittle you, your existence, or your plight. But please, man, step back a little bit and see what's up. Usually, I like to train before my 12 hour shifts because I know afterwards it's going to be a drag. What's going to be a drag, man? Tell me. Why don't you sit down right now and write me a thousand word essay on what's so bad about your existence. And then read that shit out loud to yourself and tell me you are not embarrassed. Tell me, no, to turn the camera on, on your phone right now, record yourself speak for 20 minutes about the difficulties of your life and you try and watch that shit back and see what's up. It is embarrassing, man. Listen to yourself. It is embarrassing, the excuses that we tell ourselves. But when we speak it out into existence, it's like, is that really me? These are my thoughts? Because we can all observe other people, but we can't really observe ourselves until we speak it out into existence. Make a video, write an essay, read this shit back to yourself. Would you watch a movie with you being the, the star in it, the superstar, the lead actor? Would you? Pathetic piece of shit. I wouldn't watch that shit. Start writing. Start doing something where you can view yourself. And you can see yourself in clear daylight. What, what your thoughts really sound like to other people. I can't go from 12 hours in ED looking after the sick, the injured, the disabled... And sit in my car, drive home after that 12-hour shift and have some thoughts about this dilemma that I have in my mind, whether I should train or not, how hard I should train. Bro, you just went through 12 hours of observing real struggle. And you're, 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 what, what is up? This is why I think the sick, the injured, the disabled have so much to offer to people, man. I know in World War II when there's been other tyrants, you know, like like Hitler. You know, I'm not a historian, the best historian you can ever find. But I remember reading about Hitler and there was a program in place where they would literally exterminate these people that had nothing to offer to society, to the country. So they would exterminate people that are disabled, that are bed bound, all this stuff, because they're just a burden on society. Obviously, we can agree that that is pure, purely inhumane and pure evil. And we can we can stop there with that thought just alone. But when you think about the goodness of these people, the aura they have around us is invaluable. They are the leaders. They really show us what it is to fight. What does it look like to fight every single day for freaking breadcrumbs? 
from walking to the toilet, from walking to the kitchen, getting that cup of coffee, from wiping your ass, how difficult is life? You see that shit every single day in hospitals. The sick, the injured, the disabled. A true, valuable group of people in our society. I appreciate all of you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Toby Anderson. Thank you, man. Um, it means a lot, man. It means a lot to see your name pop up in the supporters of the channel, of my journey, of these videos. Thank you for taking the extra step. Uh, thank you for signing up to the Patreon. Um, just want to give you a shout out and, and to say to you personally that it means means a lot to me, man. Appreciate you. Peace out.